Hi there! In this video we will be looking at antonyms. Antonyms are words that mean the opposite of each other. For example, small, large, shout, whisper, full, empty. Some thesauruses give antonyms as well as synonyms. Antonyms are useful when communicating as they can help us understand new vocabulary, follow directions and improve descriptive writing. For example, this sentence contains antonyms. I want to give some old clothes to the charity shop, but I don't know if they will take them. The words give and take have opposite meanings. Therefore, they are antonyms of each other. Some words have lots of antonyms, like happy. Its antonyms include sad, unhappy, dismal and down. Some words can have prefixes added to create their antonyms. For example, helpful, which becomes unhelpful, and advantage, which becomes disadvantaged. The prefixes reverse the meaning of the words to form the antonym of the root word. In this question, you're being asked to tick an antonym for the adjective crooked. Which adjective is an antonym of the adjective crooked? Tick one. Straight, bent, rounded, jagged. So which word do you think is the opposite of crooked? That's right, the answer is straight. All the words are adjectives, but straight has the direct opposite meaning to crooked. Therefore, straight is the antonym of crooked. This question is asking you to circle the antonyms in the sentence. Circle the two words that are the antonyms of each other in the sentence below. The instructions say to insert the disc after you remove it from its box. Pause the video and see if you can find the two words that have opposite meanings in the sentence. Well done if you spotted insert and remove. They are direct opposites of each other, therefore they are antonyms. Our final questions look a little different. Here you're being asked to replace the underlined words with an antonym from the selection of words below. Pull, untied, horrible, tightened, lazy, active, lovely. I sat on the bench and tied my shoelaces. My dog is so energetic when we go for a walk. Cats are such nasty creatures. You may wish to write down your answers on a whiteboard or a piece of paper, or you may just wish to say them out loud. Pause the video now and hit play when you have your answers. All done? Fantastic! Let's take a look at the first sentence. I sat on the bench and untied my shoelaces. Well done if you said the word untied. It is the antonym of tied. The prefix un has been added to change the meaning of the root word. Which word did you choose for the next sentence? My dog is so lazy when we go for a walk. Well done if you chose lazy. It is an antonym of energetic. Let's look at the last sentence. Cats are such lovely creatures. Well done if you chose lovely. It is an antonym of nasty. Well done if you got all of those questions right. I hope this has helped you to understand all about antonyms and how to use them. If you're looking for more spag help, we have lots of these videos on the Twinkle website, so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching!